former prisoner who started drawing portraits of his fellow inmates has turned his talent into a business. Arnold Sebutinde used to charge prisoners a couple of pounds to draw them. Well, when he was released, the Prince's Trust helped him set up in business. Well, now people from around the world commission him to do portraits. Our business correspondent Mark Goff reports. These pictures, in all their intricate detail, have been done with nothing more than a pencil. There by 29-year-old Arnold Sebutinde, who discovered his talent for portraiture when he was in Winston Green Prison in Birmingham. He used to draw his fellow inmates, charging them £2.50 or an ounce of tobacco. Now he's out, he's turned his art into a business, and instead of drawing prisoners, he's drawing royalty. I always had a, a skill to draw, and it was when I was inside that I, I thought I wanted to develop myself as, as a, not just as an artist, but better myself as, a, as an individual. The first person I drew was my pad mate. It was a still life drawing, charged £2.50 or uh, an ounce of burn. Of, uh, that's uh, tobacco for people that don't smoke. <laughs> Arnold was born in Uganda. His mother was British and they moved here when he was 13. But he quickly got involved in crime and gangs in 2007. He was jailed for two and a half years for conspiracy to rob. He knew he could draw and wanted to enrol in the art class in prison. Instead, he was put into the business studies class. I was a bit miffed, to be honest. <laughs> I thought it was a waste of my time. I didn't want to do anything apart from get into the art class. With the help of the Prince's Trust, he set up a business doing portraits. This week, he paid back the loan the Trust gave him to get started and films of him at work online, you can draw with both hands at the same time, have had more than 50,000 hits. The most popular, the one of him sketching his beloved dog, Ted. Being in prison is definitely, um, it taught, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lesson, you see. I made a mistake, which got me to serve time in prison. From prison, it could have either gone one or two ways. I could have come out and gone straight back to um, being destructive or I could have, I could have come out and, and made something of my life. Having spent time inside, Arnold now draws inspiration outside. Sketching nature improves his eye for detail. And he's got an eye for business because people will pay up to £2,000 for a portrait. Mark Goff, ITV News, Birmingham. We all just sat there like you, going, wow, wow, that was amazing. The way he gets the light in the eyes. Yes, and Fabulous. both hands as well. How amazing is that? Really, really good. Brilliant. Uh, now, stay with us. We've got new...